So uh, let's consider about the BSP tree. BSP tree means binary space partition tree. This is uh, some kind of a method which we use in 3D modeling. This method is basically used in the scenarios which are the objects are in the fixed positions and our viewpoint are changing. That means this object and we look at it by changing our position. Uh, basically, you know that there are some options in the uh, mobile uh, video games. There's object and player can go around and uh, play the game. Likewise, this is the scenario which we use to uh, model. Uh, with, uh, we use method to model these kind of uh, scenarios. So uh, BSP tree is a uh, model which is used to uh, scenarios as I mentioned. So this is some kind of a little description about what is the 3D modeling, um, 3D model, uh, what is the BSP uh, tree. It is a 3D modeling and rendering program to realize a binary space partition tree to make rendering and go faster. And another point, uh, the, this method can speed up the rendering process also. Um, so uh, let's consider about this scenario, this method uh, by using some uh, small sample. This is really uh, the concept behind this BSP tree. Normally, we, you know, by uh, BSP tree is uh, some kind of a binary tree. In binary tree, we know we have branches, nodes, uh, leaf nodes, and root, root nodes. And we divide or we make the branches and we divide the whole uh, thing as a uh, partitions. And we separate all the things for uh, the uh, leave nodes and we got separate items like we can see here ka likewise in the scenario we can know that there's a full world kangaroo and we split it uh, by two can and kangaroo uh, likewise the whole scenario is uh, going forward and can uh, divide into two likewise we got the separate items at the leaf node. The BSP tree also based on a concept like this. Uh, in this case, you can see what the real thing happening in here. Yeah, uh, the kind figure is just a concept. And this is the real scenario. Because we mentioned that earlier, we use this uh, modeling for a 3D uh, space. So, we can see a qubit in here. The qubit have a plane. Uh, it's in a 3D space. We consider about the A surface and uh, in the next point, the next figure, we can see that there is a splitting line and the A surface uh, or up A plane divide into two another planes B and C. So in a tree model, we have a root node a and in this figure you can see uh, the root node have two branches b and c this is the root node and the branches and in another in the next figure we can see that uh, the root node have two branches two child nodes and this node also again is split by another plane and there is the two another child nodes and these are the leaf node of this branch. Likewise, the uh, other side of the uh, C plane also uh, divided into two parts, F and G, and we can get the uh, tree flow like this. Uh, so let's consider about this scenario by using a, a real example. We can see there is uh, three objects a and uh, B and C. These are the images, uh, objects. We can see uh, A, B and C. 
uh, these three are in the 2D sphere. For the uh, understanding purposes, we just consider about these things uh, in a 2D space. So A and B and C objects. So we can split these objects in a two plane. We can see this plane and this plane. Uh, but there is a, another case we have to face. The B object are going through this line and what is the plane of B object? The B object have to face uh, two planes. For the scenario like this, we consider this whole object as a two objects. That means we have to clip these objects as a two objects. You can see that the B object become a B object and B object. And we have to consider another case, the viewpoint. Uh, because as I mentioned earlier, the basic thing is the objects are in a fixed places and our viewpoint are changing. Let's just consider that the, our viewpoint is in here. And these are objects and we have a plane P1. So uh, considering about this uh, P1 plane, this is our viewpoint. The first plane we met, that is this plane. From this uh, line, we got the this to we got two planes and our eye get the first slide slide of this plane that means the plane which included c and d objects we consider this plane as our front plane and this uh, other plane as the back plane so this p p1 plane has a, a d and c objects in the front side and B and A objects are in the back side. Likewise, we have to split all these objects as separate because in that case, in this case, P1 have two planes, but each plane has two objects. But for our purpose, we don't want two objects in the one plane. That means we have to again split these uh, planes for separate these objects so we use another line that means another plane that means now we can see the a1 is covered with two planes and no any other objects c object is covered with two planes and no any other objects and d and b also <clears throat> so then so uh, likewise we use p2 line for the purpose and our viewpoint is going and we made this plane as our first slide so b and d are in the front side a and c are in the back side of the p2 plane and we include these are b and d are in front side a and c are in the back side so uh, getting after getting the all the details from this figure now we can draw the BSP tree. Uh, it's nothing more than a, a binary tree, but we have to consider some little uh, rules uh, for this scenario. Um, the, all the objects which are in the front planes, we uh, add them in the left branch. All the front side objects, we are adding from the uh, adding to the uh, left side branch and the back side objects we are adding to the right side branch that is why uh, we name these branches as likewise so let's get into the example now we have all the details uh, we use this p1 as our root node this is our root node p1 so getting about the details from the P1 node, firstly we made this is a plane. We have to think about the planes which met first. So P1 and P2 there is a plane. We try to start 
from P1. So P1 is our root node. And we have to you know, consider about our uh, other planes. That means P2. So, uh, the P1 is separate P2 into a two parts, this plane and this plane. That means P2 also have a back side and a front side. Likewise, this. P1 front, uh, P2 front, P2 back. And every P2 point, ha P2 uh, has a, uh, the P2 line. It has also a front side and a back side. That is we uh, noted as likewise this. So that's a, um, a little case we have to consider. Now we have front, front front back, back front and back back. We have to consider that uh, the thing here. We have to consider P1 front, P2 front. That means P1 front is this one, uh, P1 front is this one, and uh, P2 front, P2 front is this one. So we have this one and this one, which is the uh, include both planes is D. So we use D as the um, leaf node from this branch. Likewise, we can consider that uh, P1 front, P2 back. P1 front, P2 back. The C object have both planes. So we use C. And the P1 back and P2 front. P1 back and P2 front. P2 front. That means object B. Likewise, we can fill all these uh, three and come up with these uh, leaf nodes. So this is the example which can uh, figure out from the these objects. Now we consider about some uh, example using lines, line segments. So. This is our objects. This is our viewpoint. We have A, B, C, and D. We're looking at this side. So as I mentioned earlier, the uh, left have the front side objects, right have the back side objects. So we consider about the uh, plane from uh, through the A, A line. So we have this as our front because our eyesight is here. So we make the Firstly, from uh, these uh, objects, because uh, when we splitting the uh, plane, we have to clip in the uh, line segment as a new object. So that's D become uh, two of two line segments, D one and D two. Likewise, other things. So uh, getting from that uh, process, we can get uh, these one as our front objects, this one is our uh, back objects. So uh, now we got two nodes for, uh, and that node we got B2, C2 and D2. Just consider about this, uh, that node. So we got three nodes, but we can't take, uh, can't uh, make them as a three for the one node. We have to separate all the things and uh, make a leaf node. So we have to consider about that node again. For that purpose, we split all the plane through the B line. And our I is there. The first uh, plane we met is our front. So this is our front and this is our back. So that C2, D2 come our front side objects, D2 come our back side objects, and it is a singular. That means it is it become a uh, leaf node and we have another two objects in one node 
we have to split them again. For that purpose, uh, we split the line through the uh, C1, C, and uh, Y is here. So there is no behind our uh, plane, only front plane got the D3. So D3 become our uh, leaf node of that branch. Uh, likewise, there is uh, another branch um, for uh, which containing three objects. Likewise, the uh, early process we can split it to a uh, it become a single node, uh, become a child node, or become a leaf node. So only we have that single nodes. So it become a uh, uh, full uh, BSP tree. So no uh, double or triple objects. So just only a single object. So it is completed. And this is how we uh, make our BSP tree from the line segments. Then finally, we can get a uh, fully uh, draw uh, BSP tree, tree like this. But in every uh, tree figure in tree methods, there is some problem because it is somewhat difficult to uh, draw the tree which we have uh, more objects in our process. We have just uh, four objects in here, but in real life, there are so many objects in the scenario. So it is somewhat difficult to uh, process a use process like this. That is why most of people for the uh, normal day-to-day -day life purposes they don't use this uh, process because it is somewhat time-consuming process time-consuming means the cost is also expensive so normal people don't uh, get used from this but there are some special cases this uh, method people are using that means most of uh, 3D games, uh, 3D video games, uh, the game developers use this scenario because we know that as in a practical way, uh, the objects are in the fixed point. We can uh, change the viewpoint and look at it. So like the purpose like that, we can use this method because we mentioned that this, uh, this process, the main purpose of this process is also that. So in that video gaming and robotics, people using uh, this method and also in uh, ray tracing, uh, we can use BSP uh, tree method also. And it is involved in the handling of complex spatial things, things also. So we have to understand that uh, this is not somewhat very familiar with the people uh, who using day to day life. This is uh, somewhat special uh, method some there are some special hardware for uh, rendering these things so um, it is a basic scenario which have that uh, painters theory because in that case also we are uh, sorting all the things back to the front so this is some kind of uh, uh, expansion of uh, the pa painters theory we use uh, sorting all things back to the front uh, and in a 3D space. Think that uh, you got some idea from the VSP tree from that. And uh, thank you for watching.